All right, hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out as always. Got another game for you guys today. This one's against a Victor. Uh, really interesting. I pulled this game up. Don't remember it. I filmed it a couple days ago. Uh, and it's only 12 minutes long, which is usually not how Victor games go. Um, so we'll have to see how this one goes. Uh, we're into Victor here. So um, this is historically a pretty tough matchup. I think it's a good matchup for face purgatory. So we'll see if it comes into play. But Victor very much likes to go wide or tall. Um, it's His overpower stuff uh, can be challenging. It won't allow us to kind of put face purgatory online. I was just clicked on my um, uh, pre sideboard guide thing here to see if phase purgatory was actually in. And it looks like the play against Victor, or my thoughts on the play against Victor was just everything but our D reacts. We're not going to worry about blocking. We're just going to try and go as hard as possible um, and not worry about what they're presenting because we want to kind of just like roll turn after turn. And often we'll get into a loop where they're just kind of like giving us their hand and not really swinging much back. So those D reacts can kind of like gum up our hands. So great turn zero, uh, rewind there. I think I played a dirge. I, I ba banished a whale. Yeah, banish a whale, play a dirge. Great turn zero. Uh, banish a whale, play a dirge. So we end on three chance, have a deathly whale for our next turn. And then in this case, we're probably going to sit on this Marian Skies or the Revel. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Either of them uh, go nicely into our arsenal at the end of this turn. So we decided to sit on the Revel in this case. Another deathly whale. Now, see, this speaks to the impact of Malefic Incantation. Every time I see a hand like this, where I have a Dirge and another Whale, I just think, damn, I wish I had a Malefic Incantation. So I can go Incantation, first Whale, makes us a chant, target that chant with Dirge, present the second Whale. So Malefic Incantation is just so good. Um, yeah, a new staple piece for sure. I wasn't so sure at the beginning, but in practice, very, very good. So they're presenting a big disable, uh, which I think um, makes it so that we can't do big, right? It, it, uh, a lot, it means we can't buff things if it does crush. Just thinking about my hand here and my options, but probably going to banish a second whale. They're not going to let a mob skies hit. So we either like creepers in or read the runes. The tunic's not online, so that's kind of awkward. Um, so wondering, I mean, we could just like revel, but that's going to break all of our rune chance at the end of the game. So not super helpful. So really thinking on a block here. I don't want to give up my whale. So I think we just let this hit and we do what we can with the, the, but I mean, like we're probably only going to present one whale. We could jump through hoops to present both, but then we're kind of not on any chance at the end of the turn. So we have to banish what or we have to balance whether we want to present big numbers here or whether we want to preserve rune chance and float them to the next turn. So we'll see what we decided. So we're playing our uh, Mavrian Skies and a Deathly Whale. So what we know is uh, we're going to present three and six, go again on hit three rune chance. There's no way they're going to let it hit. Um, the choice then, where did my Revel go, by the way? Did Disable get rid of my Rebel? Rabble? Is that what Disable does? Where did my Rabble go? I had a Rabble in Arsenal, right? Does Disable get rid of Arsenal? Maybe it's a different card that I'm thinking of. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. We can still make the double whale turn work if we want to uh, Tunic. And the thing is, they took a bunch of Arcane. So now we're more comfortable presenting uh, Spellbound Creepers uh, by knowing that they will survive. So I think we're going to activate Creepers here, pitching Dirge awkwardly, pre, uh, or playing out the uh, Read the Runes, another Whale, and that'll allow us, both Whales will trigger. Unfortunately, we have not taken damage, so they will just present one Rune Hand each, but ending on two Rune Chants is great. So we were able to present Big Number, which is what we need to be doing into Victor in order to whittle them down. Still confused as to how I lost my Arsenal, but it must be that Disable. Don't remember what that does. So they still soaked up a lot of damage, so not great. So they're still at 36, but we ended on two chance. Now we draw into nothing but uh, attack action cards, which is awkward. So we're just going to hard cast this destruction from hand and threaten their arsenal, which uh, can be impactful, but often they'll just shove uh, D-React in arsenal, so then it doesn't actually do anything. But um, sometimes it can stifle a pummel or 
something that they're they're planning a big thing that they're planning for next uh, turn so we'll see what they do but they presented the rune chant or they uh, prevented the rune chance they're going to give us a pummel from hand we're happy about that their gauntlets do, don't do anything so they are trying to protect whatever they have in arsenal here obviously and then we uh, don't mind arsenaling bounding excuse me oh was it a visit the gold main no that was from hand Oh, it was a Command and Conquer from Arsenal, so they wanted to uh, make us feel awkward about that, which is fair. Um, do I care for the Bounding to be lost? So what I was saying before is, like, Bounding is a decent Arsenal target. Since it's free, uh, it's often just another uh, zero for three uh, out of Arsenal. So that's fine. So Command and Conquer, if it hits, we lose that. Um... This is not an easy block for us. Um, looks like, well, I guess we, yeah, we still have bloody, bloodied oval. So let me think about this. So our next play is bounding, malefic. What do we have in arsenal? We have bounding. So banish bounding, play malefic. Then just present bounding. Cause I guess we don't have that many rune chance. So if I keep machinations, I think that actually makes sense. Uh, banish bounding, play malefic incantation, play bounding, end on a chant, float the deathly delight. Uh, instead of trying to jump through hoops, we'd have to break vexing if we really wanted to play deathly delight. Like we could go too wide, but it's not that impactful. So I don't mind just like stifling this. But we're rethinking it because we can. Like we're just gonna let it hit, I guess, in the end. And then we'll just take full advantage of this hand. Um, beseech bounding, malefic beseech bounding, sit on a machinations. I don't know. Or we just like try and go super wide. Oh, we're, we're targeting to deathly. So we're going all out here. So the conservative play would have been what I spoke about before. Just block out the command and conquer. Um, banish bounding, play malefic bounding. It's still good. You end on a chant, you float the whale to the next, or the deathly delight to the next turn, you still have a bounding in arsenal. Awesome. This is the like, I don't care what you're doing, I'm going to try and race you down play, where I'm wondering if I'm going to play out, or like break the vexing here. Because well, I've already played machinations. I assume I'm going to break vexing. I, I'm either breaking it now or I'm breaking it after. And then we're playing malefic, so we're going to go deathly delight, uh, three and eight, make a chant, and then come in for one and four. Um, I undid for some reason. We're going back to the start of the turn. What am I doing? So, targeting the Deathly Delight still. Machinations. Quill Hands is exactly what I did before. Deathly Delight. So, I don't know that I did anything different. Oh, I see. I wanted to play the machinate. This is uh, interesting. Uh, I see what I did. So I want to play Malefic after Deathly Delight resolves. I took the damage. So I'm going to gain two life when I close the chain on Delight. Um, by playing Malefic Incantation after Deathly Delight, I can then follow it up with Bounding Demigon, which I could do anyways. But it'll allow me to end on one rune chant, which is definitely the play. So I've encountered this a couple times. So Malefic Incantation, think about it. You don't want to just like snap play it before your first attack. Sometimes you want to play your first attack, break chain, play Malefic, play your second attack. So then it will res it will like trigger then end on a rune chant. And they were under uh, gold main, so they wanted to take advantage of their mites. So they decided to just take a bunch of damage. Choke Slam here is for nine. Uh, this is the one that debuffs. So disable must be about arsenal then, right? So this still takes, we still take four. I wonder if that might've been a face purgatory. Let me think about that. It was clearly not pummel because they only had one float, but I did give them an attack and a non-attack. That could have been a face purgatory uh, block there because it would have stripped that card from their hand. Now they're gonna have an arsenal. I think I might've like, I don't know why I didn't think about purgatory there. Because now we're under crush, which isn't going to matter. Maybe I was just thinking, like, our next turn is a setup turn anyways. But phase purgatory would still not allow them to have an arsenal. So our next turn is just uh, straight up setup. Banish this wise red annihilation. Play out or read the runes. End on five chance. Move on. 
let's see what they had in Arsenal though, because our decision not to block with Face Purgatory on that last turn could make a difference here. So maybe I just didn't see it or I didn't think about it. So Choke Slam here. Now I'm playing first Face Purgatory because they were threatening Pummel. But they banished an Enlightened Strike. No, they still were able to Pummel. They pummeled an Arsenal. Aha! So if I Face Purgatory on our last turn, uh, it would have stifled that Pummel. So that Pummel, they wouldn't have had it. Oof. Because that Pummel would not have been an Arsenal. So I th I guess that was a that was definitely a screw up. So they're just they're going like full gas, uh, which is why this game is not very long. So they're just trying to present big. They've chained visit gold main estates, and maybe this is like I haven't played. Oops, uh, I paused it there. So um, wait, maybe I should pause it. I haven't played. I uh, haven't been paired into that many victors of late. So maybe that's the new victor thing. It's just like try and go as hard as possible in the new meta. Uh, try and present big numbers, physical main estate, buff things infinitely. This is for 16 on hit discard. Pretty scary. Um, so interesting, interesting, interesting. So the face purgatory play on the last one would have definitely been the play. We still get to present a really scary attack. We're at 7 rune chance after this envelop resolves from tunic resource. So tunic envelop, amazing. Very good into the guardian matchup as well. We don't need to pay because this is already an insane amount of rune chance and a really big attack. So it's like seven and nine, very likely that it'll hit. Uh, very likely they're just gonna give us their hand anyways. So 16 attack, uh, not too shabby on a two card hand. Uh, so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit until the rune chance resolve. So they take all of the rune chance. So again, they're just like full gas, this victor. Um, which is really interesting. So they had to give us a card from hand. They give us an E-Strike. They pop a gold to draw a card. And then... Car Alarm goes off outside. Spinal Crush. For 9 on Crush, something happens. I don't remember what Spinal Crush is. Uh, but we... Let's see here. We have one chant... So we want to play the Phantom Wraith. We probably want to set up another Malefic Incantation. So Incantation Wraith. Uh, and then we could just sit on the Succumb. But... I don't know. Like, do we want to take six? Our life total is getting scary too. So we give them our Succumb for sure. So then we only take three. They have no floats. We're not threatened by Pummel here. We take three. Go to eight with them. Do we want to play Funeral Moon out or not? is what we're thinking about here. Could just save it for the next one, but I don't want to get stuck with it in Arsenal, so we're going to play it out. All we're going to do is Banish Wraith, play Malefic Incantation. So we'll end on two chants after we present two and six. So two and six is lethal. Not bad. Uh, in this case, you know, with Victor, sometimes you do need to set up, but once they're at a lower life total, everything is kind of forcing cards from their hand, and we're just trying to, like, build up to a big attack and with Malef a card like Malefic Incantation where we're able to like consistently float rune chance um you know we don't really need to like worry about setting up that much um a hand like this is interesting I wish Tunic if Tunic was online this would be a very good hand because we'd be able to banish whale machinations whale and then follow it up with uh the second whale maybe by pitching a yellow and Tunic but since Tunic's not online we're just going to do something more simple and go whale, like machinations, whale, flail. So then we'll end on probably two rune chants. Um, machinations will make us one as well. So we're probably going to end on three to four rune chants. Technically two to four rune chants, but... So this also has overpower, but they don't really care because they have a lot of block cards. So they probably made a bunch of stuff because we revealed not things. They revealed Golden Sun, which is a big, big attack. So now we flail. They still have equipment, so they'll probably throw gauntlets in front of this, I have to assume. Uh, we're still going to end on minimum two... No, actually, one. Our, by swinging flail, it consumed one of our enchants. So in a minimum one, maximum three. So we'll see. 
They're thinking long and hard on this. So, yeah, they just give us their gauntlet, which makes sense. So we end on two chance. Because he did, yeah, he did take some damage. I took some damage. So, yeah, minimum two. Maximum three. So Titan's Fist. Uh, we have a couple... Uh, yeah, I think... So the reason I took that back uh, is we just want numbers at this point. So Delight is the better block target because Ruin just presents more numbers. And then we have another Malefic Incantation. So we got very lucky to see these Malefic Incantations late game, just allowing our late game to be uh, more fluid. We're able to give up cards and still present numbers on our turn, which is sort of like whittling them down slowly. And eventually we might just draw into like a fire hand. Uh, like be able to strip because even these these turn these hands are still stripping at least like two to three cards uh, In this case, we're probably gonna pull three cards from their hand. They're taking rune chance down to one Which is never the play against Vincent because when I see this now my gameplay shifts and I just I go into finding shadow non-attack action mode but they might just be in greed mode and they might have just like not had that many blues or they're they only had blues to like be able to swing back i don't like to see oblivion here but i have my shadow non-attack action uh, envelop and i have tunic online so in this case like we could literally just go prevention and in cat and in, uh in fact they just sort of conceded um but the game was over at that point i literally just need to hold back on the envelop to present life totals, so I could have literally just give them, given them everything. Banished Oblivion. So let's go back to that. So in this last hand, I can... doesn't matter what they present. I can banish Oblivion. So I'll, I would just give them Vantom Wraith happily and Dirge. So I can block five. I need to keep Tunic Resource. So I can block five. So as long as they don't present 11, we're fine. We block five, take whatever else they give us. Banish Oblivion, Tunic, Envelop, as long as we stay at two. Uh, no, as long as we stay at three, because <laughs> we have to flail. So we would just play out the uh, en the uh, uh, Envelop, take the damage, go to two, present flail, go to one, but it presents that one uh, unpreventable off of Rune Chant. So, um, yeah, you can never go to one. They might have just had an awkward late game in terms of hands and, like, resources. I know they drew into, like, pretty red heavy hand at one point. Uh, but yeah, interesting Victor matchup. Definitely not my experience on Victor. They're usually grindier, but they were maybe just trying to pummel us into the ground, which, uh, fair enough, they did manage to pummel us that one time. Um, but anyway, so we'll see. I don't know what uh, uh, Jarl or whatever, uh, the Ice Guardian was just spoiled yesterday, today. Uh, so Guardian might make a resurgence. Frostbites, I'm very scared of. Um, Frostbites very much shuts us down. We need to be running a higher volume of blues to make sure that we can, because every time we rune gate, um, we would get taxed. So, well, would we? So how does rune gate interact with frostbite now that I think about it? Like rune gate says, instead of playing, paying its cost, instead of paying its cost, you can play it if you control that many rune chants or something like that. I don't know how that actually, uh, now that I think about it, interacts with frostbite, but uh, I do feel like he, it does tax it um i don't remember anymore lexi was a thing i think it taxed us i think it taxed it i don't know anyways uh we'll <laughs> the main point was we'll see how guard like what guardian will do moving forward um but like victor's pretty tough that was Maybe not the most representative Victor matchup, but it still allowed us to kind of evaluate some hands. Uh, you know, I don't play perfectly by any means. Uh, there's always different ways you could play lines. Always stuff that I miss, so I always appreciate when you guys point stuff out. Um, so, you know, we're learning together. Uh, but anyways, another fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll chat soon. Cheers. Cheers.